In the last tutorial, we took a look at adding parameters to your templates in Joomla. And here you can see an example of some of the parameters that we added to our page. Of course, if I were to save this, I can also take a look at where they're used. Here is where um, we create the, the parameters in our template details.xml file, and you can find out more about that online. And then we use those parameters in our templates. Here's where we're using a color variation and applying it as a class for the body. Now in this next tutorial we're going to take a look at a little bit more that you can do with templates including two things. Um, I have two templates that I'm going to take a look at here. The first one is separating your files um, into different um, subfiles basically. In, in a, for example I have my index file and my index file now has just some very simple code inside of it that asks it to request other files. In fact these files are in the templates folder. I have includes.header.php then I get my side bar and my footer. Now I am including uh, the the way that I'm accessing these is a little bit different than I did before because it used to be that I would just use this template or this root um, as a single PHP tag but this is um, or as individual PHP tags but this is using it all as a single tag and then the HTML is on the inside. Anyway it's just another way of doing it. Um, the reason that I'm not a big fan of this you'll find out in just a second but if we take a look at our includes we've got our header footer and sidebar and I do want to point out we have this index.html this is very common anytime you create a subfolder in Joomla you do in your templates that is you do want to put some basic um, HTML code in there so that it will um, read that file and not be able to go anything go any further it won't be able to read your directory so you want a blank index file in there anyway um, inside of these has exactly the same code that we had before so no major changes at all um, the major change for us is this index file now our template will work just fine we can assign this template as the default template and if we view our page everything works just great. The problem that I don't like about this is that it makes it difficult to, to actually change the code in our template while we're in Joomla. If I go to templates over on the side and I find that particular template, this is number five, you'll see that all I can edit is the main page template and the main style sheet. If I go into that template file you can see that I can edit that code but I can't change any of the included files. Um, the way to be able to actually add that function is to install a component or module that allows that function but we're not going to be doing that. So I'm not a big fan of this method. Now where this actually kind of leads us though is starting to add other things to our template to be able to do different things. If I assign this next template template number six. Let's just make sure that this page still works so we know that the template works. Let's take a look and see what's different about this. Inside this template I've got my includes folder which is still there. Um, so I'm still using that kind of method of, of linking to external files. Actually I took that out of here. I thought about that. I forgot about that. I don't want that file anymore. Yeah, Get rid of it. Um, let me make sure that there's no problems here. Haha, -ha. yeah. I didn't want the includes because I put everything back in the index file. But what is different in here is I've got a folder called HTML. And that's a very important folder. Inside this are what are called our template overrides. And template overrides are um, very many. You find a whole bunch of these in Joomla. And they can be very, very popular um, in, in templates. And they're very powerful in a lot of ways not really going to go through a lot about how to do them but as much as to say that if you have an HTML folder then you can create template overrides for example if you do com underscore content and you go inside of here and you've got let's see article default PHP if you are on an article and you are using the um, uh, the content or the component for content then what this will do is this will um, overwrite the typical template 
and you'd find that in components, com, contact, views, article, template, default, it's overriding that and using this template instead. And here you can see a lot more page parameters. Let's let's see, here's a get title, show title, access. There's a whole bunch of stuff to this. I'm not going to really go into editing these components or these um, templates because it's really beyond the basic templating guide that I have here. But these template overrides can be very um, uh, common in other templates that you download. So you just need, do need to be aware of them and realize that those will change the basic template overrides that we have. If we wanted to look at those, we'd go to, to components, com, contact, uh, let's see, it's it, is it views, and then yeah, categories, template, and then there's the default PHP. So we're overriding these particular templates that are the basic ones of Joomla. And I believe that's basically it for our templating guide. We did a lot of different things. We created very simple templates. We started adding more module positions and conditional code to show modules or hide modules. Then we did some configuration links. We did some page parameters and then we started dealing with folders and files and template overrides. Um, and I think that you can pretty much just go to basically maybe page parameters and once you start adding multiple module positions and you have conditionals for those and then maybe adding a couple page parameters you can do some really amazing things with your templates in Joomla. It's not too difficult to, to create templates for it. Um, what gets a little cumbersome is dealing with the module manager once again and dealing with applying those positions to your, your templates and then turning them on and off depending upon what pages that you want to put them on. Um, right now pretty much all of these are set to all but of course I could say well this search would show in this position that I want it to show in and I would tell it to appear only on certain um, pages. It would appear on every page except for news and login possibly. So that's where the powerful um, back end of Joomla can really help you do a lot with actually somewhat simple templates. Um, enjoy and let me know if you have any questions about Joomla, but go out and make some templates and thanks.